That's it. That is the whole kit and caboodle. This is everything. Babe, you got the passports? Oh. All right. Okay. It's official. We out of here. We're moving. Country hopping once again. Um, we are, we have packed our bags and tomorrow we're out of here, man. And guess where we're going? Hmm. So last time you saw us, we were in between our top three, which was Chile, Argentina, and Mexico. And Chile is out of here. Yeah. Chile wasn't even really an option. It was between Argentina, 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 and Mexico. Um, and we settled on Mexico, guys. We settled on Mexico for a, 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 a plethora of reasons, a whole right. bunch of different reasons. Uh, but the main reason for me is uh, we're starting a several, three different businesses. And Mexico brings us closer to one of the factories that our businesses will be in. Um, it also uh, gives us some stability that we really need. So we're going to set up camp in Mexico for about a year, actually. Um, and the main point of us for picking our next destination is we wanted a place that had a similar or low cost of living uh, with similar to what we are currently living at. Right. And we wanted to be able to save up, build those businesses and build our, pretty much, build our savings. <laughs> we're trying to finesse these businesses. I mean, you know, the savings is cool. We've been building our savings while we're here. We kind of recovered because, you know, on our way here, we took like a month and a half or two months off. Um, we kind of like healed and all that kind of financially healed. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's time to uh, set up and thrive. So like I said, uh, Mexico is a place where we can set up camp. Like my baby said, it's a place that's affordable. Um, and the difference, you know, I'm sorry, Argentina was sexy, man. Argentina was really sexy to me. Um, but all the responsible adult signs were pointing to Mexico. Um, and for me, the finance reason was <laughs> Look, it's currently winter there uh, right now, even though it's summer here, which means we would have to buy a whole wardrobe, buy a whole new an wardrobe, entire winter wardrobe. wardrobe. We've been living, uh, we've been chasing the summer for like two years now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, because we were in, in China, we like threw away. When we left China, we threw all our shit away. <laughs> yep. Winter coats, boots, gloves. I think I still have like a winter scarf. Um, in China, we had all that good stuff, but we also had two extra, two more pieces of luggage. Um, yeah. But as you saw, we reduced our lives to four okay. pieces of luggage. Here, let's show, show them what we got. That's it. That is the whole kit and caboodle. This is everything that we own on this earth. Um, apart from the love for one another. Um, <laughs> um, and that's good. You know, we're proud of that. And moving to Argentina, we would have had to uh, add another piece of luggage. And I ain't trying to see, trying to, ain't, not in a position to do that right now. So, and Argentina was a bit more expensive than uh, Mexico, they're, right? They're close. So, uh, with some of our research, we've learned that um, the cost of clothing, apparel, things like that, was way more. Well, was more expensive than it was here. And we are really trying to save money. We didn't want to start this journey of our new place by having to spend extra. Right. So, Mexico's a new destination. Mexico's where you're gonna hear about the cost of living. Well, the Yucatan in Mexico um, is where you're gonna learn, uh, we're, we're gonna bring you the price of living, what the food is like, what the experiences are like. Um, we really enjoyed living here in Colombia. It was cool. We did, Medellin yeah. was is nice, man. Uh, Melo really liked the uh, warmth of the people. Mm -hmm. um, Really like the ability to blend in as a Colombian right. until we open, until we our, open mouth. our mouths. Nobody knows. Nobody knew, right? I thought this guy called me, uh, thought I was Jamaican yesterday. I don't know what that's that was all about, but you know, the dreads. Um, so that's what's up, man. You know, I really, really want to encourage you if you got, have a chance to fall through Medellin, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Um, the people are nice, the weather is, is, is okay. Um, and it's, it's the experiences here are, are diverse, you know what I mean? Um, the mountains, hiking in the mountains. Oh, That's Never one thing I that. wish we would have hiked a bit more here, but it was beautiful when we went. I had enough, baby. <laughs> you know, my legs still tell the story of several creatures. For real though, my ankle's still jacked up from the last time we were up in there yeah. for eight, well, seven hours, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, 
but the gorgeous, the beautiful, you know what I'm saying, that rugged beauty. Um, but I'm looking forward to uh, the flatlands of Mexico, not having to go uphill to come home. Um, yeah, that's true. We did have to walk a lot and, and walk uphill a lot, but you know what comes with being able to walk uphill and not having flatland is that you have gorgeous views. Yeah, the views are ridiculous. The views are sick, man. So, yeah, that's... Yeah. Down, buddy. Can you see them out there? The sun's uh, going down. Let's see, let's see. That's one of the things we'll definitely miss. Well, these are our surroundings. This is what we wake up to every day. Um, I don't know if you can really see. I need to get a better lens on this camera, but the mountains were surrounded. We live in the doggone mountains. So we taught our last class yesterday. Um, no more VIP kid for at least a week or two. So that's right. kind of like a cheers moment for me. You? Yeah, I mean, it's it's our main source of income, so we can't take too long of a break. But it's nice to just pack up without having to worry about classes and have some time to Probably. adjust in a new place and look for an apartment long term. I'm looking forward to developing these other streams of income, man. So, I, like I said, Mexico is closer to uh, one of the businesses that we're, that we're ramp, ramping up, ramping up. Um, kind of a t-shirt production business, uh, doing some ebooks and some other things, and being closer to the North America is, is going to allow us the latitude to get a lot of stuff done. Man. So, looking forward to that. Looking forward to bringing all these things to you guys. Um, how to live a nomadic lifestyle. How to afford a nomadic lifestyle. It's so much easier said than done. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we're learning along the way and we're getting through it and we love it. We love this lifestyle. Butter, man. Um, what else, baby? What can we tell people about? I know it's been a minute since we posted, so, you know, I hope you guys have been safe and tidy. Uh, what we have been doing is really uh, um, building one arm of these businesses. Um, so, we'll share the how to's and what we've done and what the results have been in the videos to come. Above and beyond that, man, y'all be safe. It's all love. Uh, we are the Yarbros. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll catch you in Mexico. Adios. Adios.